This first video will cover 2CP, which is a subset of PBL. So 2CP involves certain PBL cases using two CPLs. Uh, the first one being JJ, JN, NJ, and NN. So with any two of these Ls, you can solve any PBL where both layers are either A, G, H, J, N, T, U, or Y perms, also including the soft layer as well. So this first part will cover all the angles needed to get from one CP out to get another CP case. So the first PL we're covering is the T perm. So for the T perm, you align either of the blocks in front like so, either like this, or like this on the left on the right. And then from here, just do a J perm, and you'll get another J perm. So this applies for other side as well. So if you hold it on the right, you'll still get a J perm. And if you hold it, even if you get a T perm on the bottom, if you align the blocks the same way, either on the left or on the right. So for example, on the right, we still align the blocks in front, the J perm you get an IJ perm. The next PL is the Y perm. So for Y perms, you hold the corner, this disconnected corner where the two blocks are next to each other, in the back left or the back right, such that the block in front, the end of the block is aligned. So in this case, either like this, see this block is aligned, or like this, so this block is now aligned. Either way, you'll still get a J perm. So that was on the left, it's on the right, you still get a J perm. Likewise, if you get a Y perm on the bottom, so you have a Y perm on the bottom now, it's still the same. Align the block on the left, you still get a J perm. Align the block on the right, you still get another J perm. For U perms, we slice closer to the opposite edge. So in this case, we hold the block in the back, and then we find the opposite edge, in this case the blue-green one, and hold it closer to the slice. So once you have it close to the slice, we just do a J perm, and we get another J perm. Likewise, if the opposite sticker is on the left, we just do the same, bring it closer to the slice. So in this case like this, not like this, to a J perm, we get another J perm. So again, on the bottom, bring the opposite sticker closer to the slice, to a J perm, and then you get another J perm. For H perms, you just need to slice from anywhere and just do an end perm. You get another end perm. So again, same thing on the bottom, H perm on bottom, you just do an, an end perm and you get another end perm. For A perms, it's slightly different. We first find the opposite pseudo block that is not part of the block, actual block or the headlights. So in this case, this is our pseudo block and notice how it's not part of this a, this normal A perm block or the headlights, we preserve it in the front, do a J perm, and we get another J perm. So, likewise, for the mirror A perm, notice how again this is our opposite pseudo block. So, we preserve it. You see, notice how this block is not part of the headlights or the actual block, do a J perm, and we get another J perm. So, again, on the bottom, it's the same thing. Take this block, this is the pseudo block that's not part of the actual block or the headlights, and then we preserve it, do a J perm, get another J perm. For G perms, there are two different types. So the first type is where the block is opposite. So in marker naming, this is GOR, and for this, it will be GOL, since the block is on the right and the left respectively. So to solve this PBO, first thing we do is we take the block and we split it like this. So from here we just do a J perm and we'll get an N perm. Likewise, for this G perm, notice how again the block is opposite. So we break the block. So we slice through the block and we do a J perm and we'll get another N perm. So this is the second type of G perm, it's when the block is adjacent to the headlights. So for this case, since the block is to the right of the headlights and is adjacent, we call it jar. And for this block, for this case, the, the block is adjacent to the headlights and is on the left, so we call it jaw. So, 
for these G perms, we just align the block, we preserve the block, and then we just do an N perm from any angle, just as long as the block is aligned. So like this. And notice how we will get another J perm. Likewise, same thing again. We can actually hold the block from any angle. So I could hold it like this. As long as it's preserved, I can just do an N perm. And I'll get another J perm. So now, for the JPEM, we can actually hold it two different ways to force two different CP cases. So we don't want to solve it immediately during uh, PBL, so we wouldn't want to hold it like this into a JPEM. So we can actually hold it, hold the headlights on the left, on the right, and just do a JPEM, and we'll get back another JPEM. Or we can hold the headlights in the front, do a JPEM, and we'll get an MPEM. Or another way we can force a, a different CP is by doing an N perm. So when we do an N perm, notice how it's still a J perm. So for N perms, uh, there's only one way to force them. Since we don't want to do an N perm again, uh, because it will solve the layer. So instead, we just do a J perm, and it will give us another J perm. And lastly, when there's a soft layer, we can just either force a J by doing a J perm or an N by doing an N perm. So yeah, that's all of the 2CP uh, angles you need to know. So now I'll be going through some example solves with 2CP. So here's the first one. Okay, so I see I have a T perm on top and a U perm on bottom. So for this PBL, I know that T, I can solve it with a J perm followed by another J perm. And so and same for you is J into another J. So therefore I know I need to do JJ into JJ again. So where should I execute my first J? I can I should align the T blocks. So in this case it's already aligned, so I don't need to do anything. And for the U perm, I need to bring the opposite sticker closer to the slice, like this. And so right here I can just do a J perm into another J perm. Another JJ, sorry. Like that. Here's the next example solve. Okay, so I see I have this G perm with the block opposite. In fact, this is actually G O R because the block is on the right. And I see this is a J perm. Uh, this is actually J A actually because it's a line. So for this G perm, I know that I have to do a J perm in to get an M perm. And for this one, for this J perm, I can force either another J or another N. So, if let's say I was to force another J on this, I will get NJ. And NJ is 5 slices. However, if I force N, if I force an N perm on this layer, I will get NN. So it's 3 slices. So knowing this, I can just do uh, a J perm on this J layer to get N perm to force NN. So let's try that. So, for this, for this G perm, cut through the block, so slice through the block like this and for this J perm, align the blocks and put the headlights in front so like this, to the J perm and here we get an NN here's a third example so okay, so I see I have a soft layer and then a Y perm on bottom so soft layer, I can force either J or N and for Y perm, I have to do a J then another J so of course, it will be easier to just do uh, force a J on this so after I do a J J, I'll get another J perm and another J perm bottom which is just J J again so for Y perms, the angle is by holding by preserving either of the blocks with the corner in the back so it will be easier to just do just a 2 on the bottom because it's a smaller move and then after we preserve the blocks we just do a J perm or JJ and then we get another J perm on top and J perm on bottom which can do JJ again here's the fourth example solve okay so I see I have AL this uh, sorry AR this is block is on the right and it's an A perm and I see I have JR because or JAR because the block is adjacent to the headlights and it's on the right. So, for this PBL, I know that A can be solved with J into another J perm. 
and jar has to be solved into with an n-perm into a j-perm. So I know I have to do jn into jj. So usually for a-perms, we put the opposite pseudo block on the front. But since we want to do jn, and jn swaps these two corners, but our jj outsource these two, we preserve this block on the right, like this. So when we do our jn out, this will swap these two corners so that we'll get a j bone on top. And likewise, we just preserve the g block like this. So we preserve the g block. So now we can do jn into jj. So this is the main idea of how 2CP works. But if you want to make 2CP even more efficient, it's useful to learn a few extra alternate CPLs and some look ahead tricks. So now let's talk about some look ahead tricks for 2CP. So the most obvious one, first off you may realize, is that after you do the first CP out for all CP cases, 2CP cases except for J or N, when you do the first CP out, the next CP always has the blocks misaligned. So you always need to align it differently in some way to do the next CP out. So this is useful for certain cases where you get N, uh, N pump afterwards since you don't need to care about the angle, as long as you just align it. So for example, right after here, after I set up the, jib, after I set up, uh, the block like this, I can just, after I split the block like this, after I do my J-perm, I can immediately align it so that I know my end perm will be aligned. I only need to worry about my bottom layer. So after I do my J-perm, I immediately align it, and then my bottom layer I can just figure out later. So this next uh, look ahead trick is for cases like A, T, and J perms. In other words, cases where to force a J perm into another J perm and they have headlines. So for this case, let's say A perms, the, the way it works is that after you do your first J out, the place where you execute your next J perm from is where the headlights are. So basically, uh, we know the headlights are on the right. So after I do my J perm, I know that I have to do a U to bring the headlights to the front so I can do another J-Perm again. So let's try this. After I do my first J JL, let's do a U, and then notice how I'm already in the same in the correct position to do another J-Perm. And so it's much more seamless this way. So actually for A pumps, the move you always need to do is always a two move. It's never like a three or whatever. So again for A pumps, right? We just we know that the headlights are here, so you just need to do a 2 move this way afterwards. Let's do a J, a 2, and then a J again. So our T-pumps, similar thing. We know the headlights, uh, okay, let's say the headlights are on the left, alright? So after you do a J-pump, we bring the headlights to the front, so we just do a U-prime essentially. So after you do a JJ, we do a U-prime JJ. So that's how you can predict where to do the next out from. So J-pump. U prime J perm. So, uh, for T perms, actually, we always need to do a four move. So in this case, it's negative four. So in this case as well, it's always a four move as well. So depending on which way, it's either negative four or just four. So again, if it was on let's say on the right, after you do a J perm, we just do a four move like a U to 
to get the same angle for another J perm. So J for J. There you go. So for Y perms, uh, the, the way to predict where to do your next J out from is basically after you do your first J out, you just do a U2 essentially. So, so for this case, uh, I put the blocks on the left. So after I do a J perm, I do U2, then a J, JJ. So JJ, U2, JJ. So likewise, if my block was on the right, I'll just do a JJ and then immediately go into U2 to get another JJ. So the special thing about Y perms is that you always need to do a 5 move to get to the next J out. So it's either plus 5 or minus 5. So in this case, I have to do a minus y since I need to do u two prime, and then for this case, I can just do a u two to get uh, my next j out. So let's see. From here, after I do a j, I do a five move, and I'll get my uh, the same angle I need to do to do a j perm. So let's see, j j five j j. So the last look at head trick is for u pumps. So for u perms, after we do the first j perm, we just need to misalign it. We don't need to uh, do any u or u or u prime or u two sign there. That just misalign by one, and you get the same the correct angle to do the next j perm. So let's see. Hold the block. Hold the opposite sticker closer to the slice. J, just do a one and another j. So again, a look ahead. Just misalign it the other way so this is my uh, one again let's do a j perm one j perm so those are some of the look at tricks for 2cp so do note that these tricks are not just only for 2cp but they're also useful in a bunch of the other uh, pbl tricks later like psk where you need to where it's useful to predict the cp of the next out because note that this is not limited to only 2cp but just for predicting the CP in general after uh, doing the next after doing the first out. So yeah, that's all for TCP. The next part is on good U pumps.